Hey everyone, Eric here with my son Kyle. Hello. And uh, we're gonna do something a little different today. We're going to Five Guys Burgers. Where we lived in uh, Southern California, we had one across the street from Never where we there. lived. Well, I went there a few times. But uh, we always went to In-N-Out, which was closer. So this is gonna be something new that Kyle has never tried. No. And I've tried, but I haven't tried here in Wisconsin. We have Culver's, and I did a video um, in and out Burger versus Culver's. I'll leave a link below if you want to check that out. But we're here at the Oakwood Mall in Eau Claire. We're going to try Five Guys. So come along with us and, and see. Maybe compare them to how we think. Yeah, we're gonna, obviously going to check them out with in and out and Culver's and tell you guys what, what we think. So we'll meet you guys inside. Got the double cheeseburgers all the way that's all the toppings except we both don't like tomatoes I got a regular Cajun fry for us to split and two regular sodas it was uh, $32 so kind of expensive way more expensive than In-N-Out but you can munch on some peanuts oh, that's ours I'll go get it all right here's Kyle we both got the same burger here look at these Cajun fries try a fry Kyle first let's see what you think yeah, the Cajun spice isn't too strong. What do you think? Good fries. Very good fries. You can tell they kind of got the... The texture is really good. Yeah. They almost remind me, not flavor-wise, but like the texture like McDonald's fries. Yeah, I think the fries right. are really good myself. Mm-hmm. Well, we split one order of medium fries, and as you can see, it's more than enough. Oh, yeah, funny. All right, let's get uh, trying these burgers. All right, guys, here we are. Look at this thing. Kyle's right there. He can already say, what did you say with confidence? I said I can save confidence. These are bigger than In-N-Out. Much bigger than In-N-Out. And Culver's, for More that expensive. Matter. All right, we're going to give these a, a sample. Oh, boy. Looks good. All right, Kyle, give it a bite. Let's see what, what we think. Mm. What do you think? I can see it's a little messy and strippy. You definitely need some napkins here. <laughs> Ouch. I'll cut that part out. Someone dropped something. Um, what do you think? I'm trying to think how to board it. The cheese is really good. The, um, but, no, it's very good. Um, <laughs> the meat tastes good. Not good. High yeah. quality, huh? It's not Culver's meat, but it's good. All right. I'll give this a sample. All right. I have to say this burger is very tasty. Look at that. Very tasty. The meat is fresh. The cheese is fresh. It's an expensive burger, it's a ten dollar burger, but you know what, I think you get what you pay for here. And the fries are really good too. Mm -hmm. Alright Kyle, you're about halfway through. <laughs> what do you think? Very good. Very good. <laughs> Alright. They put some sort of sauce on there, something. Yep. Adds the flavor. All right, burger is done. Very tasty, very fresh. Uh, fries are really good too. I got nothing to complain about the food itself. The only thing I would say is I think it's a little expensive. A whole meal here for two burgers, splitting one fry and two soft drinks, $32 is a little excessive. They're $9.99 for each burger. If they were like, like Kyle said, $7.99, could be a better value, I think. I think that the the burgers, it's good. I think that it's definitely better than Culver's. Except I still think that In-N-Out gives it a run for its money. Really? But that's also, I think, I 
and I bring this up to people and I talk about in and out since you only find it in, uh, on the west coast in California n mainly and then there's like a few in like Nevada and Arizona and, yeah. and all you really have out there is like uh, is fast food like McDonald's and Wendy's and Burger King and this and that. Yeah. I think in and outs just such a good burger for out there. It is and it's not as expensive. Mm -hmm. But the but five guys I think in and out if you're um, if you're in the area, I think In-N-Out would be a better bang for your buck than Five Guys. But as far as the Five Guys is concerned, because that's what we made this video about, it's a very good burger. And um, I would say, like Dad said, it's a little expensive, but um, but no, it's a good burger. Yeah. They give you a so that's a nice touch. But no, for the In-N-Out, you can order two double-doubles. And it's still, I think the double doubles are like uh, double three, double. four bucks, and I think that would fill you up just as much, if not more, than one of these double burgers here. But, but I like it. If you've never tried it, it is a little bit of an upscale burger. It's a little pricey, but it's good. The fries are definitely good. So if you have one in your town, you haven't tried it, I would certainly recommend it. So there you have it, guys. Our little trip to Five Guys Burgers. If you like the video, please hit the like button. Big portion. The little logo on the bottom part of the screen there, if you click on that, you can subscribe to my channel. Please do that. I greatly appreciate it. And a link above and below is to my website, ericsmokingbarbecue.com, where I have all my recipes with photos, the whole bit. So thanks again for stopping by and checking out the video. We'll see you next time from Five Guys. <laughs> above what? Above what?